Hi friends, this is Summer from The Slow Word and I get the incredible blessing of having my sister Stephanie with us. She is the one who kind of commissioned, started commissioning these videos and asking for uh, time in the Word and I'm just crazy thankful that you um, we're willing to say, Summer, this is something that I need. Um, that the uh, she has a really busy 16-month-old, and I know all 16-month-olds are busy, but um, uh, and runs a nonprofit called Unchained Fashion Show, and um, but like all of us, needs to find ways to get fed to kind of scoot up to the table to um, be fed a feast from the Lord. So this was something that uh, that she asked for. Um, but today we're going to be reading from one of my favorite chapters in the Bible because it constantly is, is a check on my spirit. Where am I going to get my needs met? Um, what am I thinking is the source of all good things uh, of, of the feast, the source of the feast and going there uh, instead of going to the Lord. So this is um, often like a Lenten uh, reading for me, but um, since I've been thinking a lot about, um, about why we do the slow word um, and why we do Lectio Divina. This is one of those verses that keeps jumping out at me, so I wanted to share it with you. So I love the whole chapter. Wish I could do the whole chapter, but um, with Lectio, you just choose usually like four verses, and um, uh, we'll have some time of stillness and then uh, some time of um, asking for the Lord to come, uh, opening the door for the presence, mm -hmm. and then um, having the chance to listen to the, the verses. And I'm just gonna be doing um, verses, uh, Hosea 2, verses 14, 15, and 16 today. Um, Anyways, looking forward to what the Lord's going to do through this. I'm going to go ahead and take some deep breaths and enter into a space of stillness. Be still and know that I am God. Every time that you blow out, I want you to blow out even further. And think to yourself, just rest. One more deep breath. I'm getting fully present in your space. We've been busy already in our minds. And just invite you to be fully present where you are. Mm -hmm. Time now to swing open the door of our hearts. Mm -hmm. And to say, Come, Lord Jesus, come. Mm, yes, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. come. You are here. Mm. I'm going to read the verses three times, and uh, the first time is just to get comfortable with the verses. The second time is to listen for a word or phrase. 
And then the third time is um, to listen for an invitation. And I'll lead you through that. Therefore, I am now going to allure her. I will lead her into the desert and speak tenderly to her. There I will give her back her vineyards and will make the valley of Achor a door of hope. There she will sing as in the days of her youth, as in the day she came up out of Egypt. In that day, declares the Lord, you will call me my husband. You will no longer call me my master. This time when you listen, I want you to listen for a word or phrase that sticks out to you. Therefore, I am now going to allure her. I will lead her into the desert. and speak tenderly to her. There I will give her back her vineyards and will make the valley of Achor a door of hope. There she will sing as in the days of her youth. as in the day she came up out of Egypt. In that day, declares the Lord, you will call me my husband. You will no longer call me my master. Go ahead and allow that word or phrase to come up between you and the Lord and sit with it for a moment. This time when you listen, I want you to just listen for an invitation. The Lord loves to speak to his children. Uh, and I just think that we have a chance to say like Samuel, speak Lord, for your children are listening. Listen for an invitation. Therefore, I am now going to allure her. I will lead her into the desert and speak tenderly to her. There I will give her back her vineyards and will make the valley of Achor a door of hope. There she will sing as in the days of her youth.
as in the day she came up out of Egypt. In that day, declares the Lord, you will call me my husband. You will no longer call me my master. Allow that word or that invitation to just come up between you and the Lord for a moment. Look at it between you. Just to invite you now, if uh, you need extra time, go ahead and pause this, uh, this video. If um, you're ready to move on, go ahead and get a journal or a um, three by five card and uh, write down the invitation, write down those words, because we know that we need these seeds of truth to be watered consistently in our life that we can't just listen and um, expect that seed to to be planted deep in but that it needs to be watered over and over and and so the repetition of being present with the word that the lord is speaking is so deeply essential for the renewing and the transforming of our minds so i just encourage you to to get a three by five card in the least and and write down those pieces put them in your pocket take them with you the, these seeds are precious the Lord is doing a good thing through his word in his children um, and otherwise get your journal out and have a conversation with the Lord Lord this is what I think I'm hearing um, what other verses may connect with what I'm hearing is this consistent with um, your character is this consistent with who you are throughout the rest of scripture um, do you have other words that you wish to say to deepen this word so I just invite you uh, to take it one step further to say yes to the Lord uh, planting it deeper into your heart um, and uh, let me just pray with you we'll just we'll just pray over the word that's been planted in your heart and and honestly in our hearts as well because yeah. every time we listen every time we do this the Lord is doing a new thing in our hearts as well it's just uh, such an incredible gift to be joining this movement doing this movement with you because the Lord has um, a beautiful work in mind uh, in calling his children to fall in love with his word um, so let's just pray Lord I thank you that you continue to speak through your word to your children that your word is living and active and like it says in Isaiah it will be sent forth and will not come back to you empty, yeah. but will accomplish that for which you sent it. So I thank you, Lord, that you desire to accomplish um, a beautiful renewing and transforming of mm. all of our minds mm. through this small piece of your word. Mm. Thank you, Lord. We say yes to your good work in our life. Yeah. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.
have a great day friends. <laughs>